you going first? I'll go first. Yeah. I'll, I can assure you the way. And this is part of the essentially the storyline of, of Horizon Three now, right? That you're you're in charge of the festival. So you, you're in charge of creating. You are the events, boss. So. Yeah, yeah. So you make all, all the big decisions, um, and you know one of them is what kind of racing you want to do, and it extends beyond that. You can create your own Look bucket list these. challenges as well. So that's what we're going to be in. That's on the Lumi Craft Class Ten race car. I'm well sure done. you were about to. Uh, See, I okay. am a little bit worried that uh, you went straight for the buggies. It feels like you might have been preparing for this and maybe stacking the deck in your favour a little bit. Well, we're unstacking the deck because I'm playing in manual gears, which I don't oh. normally do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking earlier that I just recently started, actually when Motorsport 6 came out, started learning to play manual gears. So hopefully that gives me a wee bit of an advantage. So how much of a challenge was it to, to bring like a new type of vehicle into the game essentially again so, you're adding more and more so this one is quite a challenge um, it has some of the most uh, complex suspension I mean you can see it working there right on the yeah. side of the car some of the most complex suspension that we've ever had in Forza um, as we smash some poor guys fences <laughs> um, but they were, you know, this class of vehicle, I think, was like essential for this game. As soon as we saw the Outback and the kind of terrain that you're going to be racing Whoa, over. Oh, hello. Um, no, not the fences. Um, <laughs> um, you know, you really want to be bouncing over that in buggies like we're doing right here. This race is amazing, actually, because it goes up. Um, up in the hills. Uh, up into the hills. It's actually going to go through the gorge, Ormiston Gorge, which is in the like northern territories of Australia. Okay. Um, and it is pretty beautiful. It's actually one of the first places we researched and we just totally fall in love with, fell in love with it when we saw it. It's um, getting a little bit stormy over there as well. Is that gonna roll in? Uh, we will see, I hope not. I'm in enough trouble as it <laughs> is. <laughs> How much of, you know, like real places and real inspiration did you take from the, the, the geography of Australia? So it's, every place is real. It's all based on, oh, uh, it's all based in real on real places in Australia. The thing we did, the sort of artistic license that we took, if you like, um, um, was in how we arranged them, right? So it's not a one-to-one -one geographical mapping of Australia, yeah. um, nor should it be, because you know we're making a game here first and foremost. Um, so we got all the beauty of uh, um, Australia, but arranged into a world that. Um, Try to put on three wheels. That works, yeah. I've seen them oh. do that in YouTube videos. Um, <laughs> that works as a game, right? It's great for driving, it's great for uh, discovery, it's great for exploration. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Steward's inquiry. This is surely allowed. This. Well, I'm definitely allowed a couple now as well. Oh, the other one. Uh, and you know, one of the things you you've said before is that Australia again gives you that incredible diversity of geography, of terrain, of landscape, right? I mean, totally. more so than really anywhere you've been in Horizon um, before. It so. is twice as diverse as Forza Horizon 2. How do we possibly measure that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of, well, so we, we call them ecotypes, right? So every, yeah. like, you know, uh, rainforest is an ecotype, outback is an ecotype. Um, so there are six in Horizon 3. There were only really sort of three, maybe four in Horizon 2. Um, Whoa, and that was something crazy. we really wanted to give our players in this game, like a real sense of, like, as you move around the world, it changing and it becoming a... That was all right. I'll, I will take third. Okay. I'll That's take so third. Um, you doing it on position or time? 3.04. Uh, 3.04. Well, third and 3.04, 3.04, 0.34, mm. yeah. Awesome. yeah. Well, congratulations. Well done, Graham. That was a, that was a valiant effort. It took you two years. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, two feels, years of solid uh, the practice. Buggies, that buggy feels amazing though, because you're really getting a sense of that, like uh, mad suspension. You really it? feel it bouncing over the... Totally. Um, uh, well, that's why you've got to watch on those jumps so much, because if you hit that uh -huh. just at a slightly yeah. wrong angle, then you're, you're away. And that drag in the, in the water is really noticeable as well. And, you know, yes. So even hitting the water at the right angle... Absolutely, really and this, this kind of race strategy there as well.